Hey beautiful Geminis, welcome back to the channel Gemini. I hope you're doing amazing. Thank you for joining me here. Thank you for all your kindness, your generosity. It's deeply appreciated and respected here. Thank you for all you do Gemini. Let's get to your messages. Mm, this one wants to show which is manifestation blessings for progress. So you're making progress on something. This is soul love. What's going on? Unique well-being. Enhanced protection for setting up beautiful boundaries. So it's like you've had to set up some kind of boundaries here. And it's like you're manifesting some kind of blessings for the progress you've made. This is doing things uniquely your own way for your own well-being. This is loving your own soul enough to set up some kind of boundaries. Protection for the vulnerable heart. So it's like someone we have seen you as vulnerable or that you were vulnerable and you had a need to set up some sort of, you, you're being told to, there is enhanced protection here for setting up some kind of boundaries. Let's go, Gemini. Could be to do with a connection. Someone did not earn the rite of passage here. Want to come in reverse. Gemini, rite of passage. So if somebody did not earn the right, they're not entitled. It's like healing hands are here. Someone was not doing self-care it is in reverse someone did not trust or they have broken someone's trust here tried to make someone weak and vulnerable or thinking that someone was weak or vulnerable hmm. it's like this is sanctuary hmm so it's like someone refused to grow or that the hell is this all about why are they keep trying to come in reverse i can't keep changing them it's meant to come this way so someone was not caring for themselves enough i don't think that it, someone saw you weak or someone saw you vulnerable and you've had to set up boundaries. Someone's on a new beginning. You are a divine being. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like how a lot of these are in reverse and some are upright. Usually I do all of mine upright. When they come in reverse, it's because they're meant to come in reverse. The one that did come up in the upright was Sanctuary, Divine Being and New Beginnings. And healing hands. So someone thought that you were vulnerable. Thought that they did not earn the rite of passage here. Someone did not earn the rite of passage. It's almost like they m mistook your uh, love for weakness or that you were vulnerable or thinking that someone was vulnerable. There is some kind of karma here. It, 
It's like someone refused to grow. Someone refused growth. Didn't care for themselves or something. Someone is... I don't know. Let's go. Well, somebody may be regretting something. I don't know. <clears throat> or there's mourning. There's a king of cups here. Something is weighing heavily on someone. And it could be a relationship. Now, somebody could have thought that you were vulnerable or somebody thought that somebody was vulnerable. There is friends here or someone getting attention. Somebody is angry. Maybe they're angry at themselves. I don't know. Someone had to trust their intuition here. Somebody was... I don't know if... Something weird going on. Hang on. This is family and the Ten of Pentacles. This is the Empress. Boundaries. <coughs> Sorry, Gemini. I don't know if somebody had to set up boundaries with their family or they got to set up some boundaries here. Maybe somebody is taking advantage of someone's vulnerability here, thinking it's funny. Or somebody could be mocking here. Trying to make someone feel insecure. Calling someone slow or ca calling someone stupid. This could be a king of wands. What the hell? We got a king of wands, a king of pentacles, and a king of cups. But it's... So that they can control them somehow. Some kind of karma here. Now somebody is starting some kind of drama. Somebody is starting some kind of um, chaos here. And it could be friends. I don't know what's going on here. Um... See, someone is thinking that someone's vulnerable. What? Somebody is interfering. This is, could be a interfering friends. Or someone spying on someone's relationship or house
or someone is taking advantage of somebody's vulnerability, there is... So somebody owes an apology to a, a queen of wands. You could have fire in your chart. This is something someone owes you an apology. Someone owes, maybe you are a mother. Maybe you are the empress. I don't know. Somebody owes the queen of wands an apology. Because they have found out some kind of truth. Like someone's taking advantage here of someone's kindness. Someone is taking advantage of someone's um, vulnerabilities. Yeah, trying to hurt someone, thinking that they're vulnerable. Somebody could be taking advantage, say, of the fact that Okay, you've gone through a breakup or you've had some kind of deaths around you. You know what I mean? Is this a con? That's what I'm thinking. Someone thinks, you know, well, someone must be going through a lot of pain and suffering or someone must be hurting really bad. So I'm going to take advantage of, of time when they're vulnerable. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make an apology to them at a time when they're vulnerable. Um, this could be someone going through a lot of stress. They could have gone through a lot of losses, like deaths around them or endings around them. It's like, mm hmm, they're vulnerable. I can take advantage of them, but somebody is... Mm, they're more confident than what they realize. Someone is thinking, well, here's my prime opportunity to like take advantage of somebody because I'm going to talk to them or I'll make this apology to them when they're feeling with the most vulnerable. This is someone trying to take advantage of someone's at a time of vulnerability. So either they're heartbroken or they have lost someone. They're grieving. They're mourning. Maybe they're mourning the loss of someone they love. It's like, aha, my time to strike while the iron's hot. You know, they're going to need someone to talk to. They're going to need somebody to, to, uh, someone is taking advantage of someone at a very vulnerable time in their life. I don't know if someone's lost a child, if you've lost a child, I'm deeply, deeply sorry, or lost a sibling, or lost someone dear to you, my deepest condolences, but someone's looking at this, I gotta be real, they're looking at it as a, a prime time to hit you up for something or to, you know, get you at a vulnerable time here. There's a hustler here or someone very vindictive here. What's going on? Very deceptive. Yeah, see? I don't like this. I don't like it at all. That's the evil eye. That's the um, deception. Hidden jealousies. This is a... Uh, who is this? Jerk.
Is someone like, oh my good God. Is this someone going through like a crisis? Is this someone who's going through like a mental crisis? Is this someone who's like devastated about something, heartbroken about something? This is someone who's done a lot of grieving. So maybe there is deaths here around you that you've been mourning or you've been missing people or you're lonely or you're someone is looking at this as a prime opportunity to strike thinking you're vulnerable but you're not like you might be but you're stronger than that you're more confident than that and independent than that what the hell psychos so this is something that's been incredibly painful someone is going through something that's been incredibly painful incredibly hard difficult this is a lot of difficulties mental stress, uh, worry, fear. I don't know. I don't know if someone had like mental confusion or mental problems or something like that. Thinking like what someone is taking advantage of somebody who, who has gone through a lot. Uh, hang on. <laughs> and they're figured, they got a plan. Somebody is planning on, like, coming in to, like, man you're easy to manipulate because you're hurt. You're easy to manipulate because, you know, I don't know. You're pretty balanced here. I think they'd be a damn ass fool. Hang on. Oh, you sly, sly. Someone's slick. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, you cannot. I can't believe this. Gemini, someone is like trying to take advantage of someone who has been mourning the loss of a loved one or several loved ones. This is somebody who's trying to take advantage Seeing someone as vulnerable. Working on some type of plan here. I don't like it. Like someone is thinking that they, someone will be easily to, easy to control. Someone is thinking, oh, it's going to be easy to control whoever this earth angel is or this person. It could be 
someone is thinking it's my time to make my move or my time to make some kind of offer because they're vulnerable. This is taking advantage of someone who someone is perceiving as vulnerable. Someone has been working on trying to heal. Somebody has been working on trying to heal themselves. And it's like, how dare they? I don't care who this is. Yeah. Make an offer to someone who they think may be unstable, like not fully healed. This is careful. There is somebody here who is, I don't care if it's, it doesn't, this can be family. This can be friends. This can be a romantic partner. But they're looking at taking advantage of so someone who's single, who may have some money, who is an empress, maybe they're a high priestess, and they may, this could be family, trying to take advantage, like maybe they've lost family members. Maybe they're mourning the losses of their family member or, or grieving, still going through a grieving process. Someone is looking at, ooh, they're going to be easy to manipulate. They're going to be easily taken advantage of because I'm going to hit them up because I know that they're vulnerable. They're probably lonely. They're probably this. I'm not saying you are, but this is how someone's perceiving it. I'm going to hit them up when they're at their lowest. I'm going to hit them up <laughs> because I think the Empress is vulnerable. Slick, real slick. Someone's a con. It's like they're trying to take advantage of someone, A, who they think got some money and who they think is vulnerable. And it could be friends and it could be family or it could be a lover. So let's hit them up for something. I know they're going to be lonely. I know they're going to be hurt. I know they're, they're going to be suffering. So let me hit on them at their weak, on when they feel weak. Oh, be careful of people coming towards you, like I said. It's like they're thinking that you're not going to resist them because you're not going to be, you know, like you don't care for yourself or like you're down in the dumps. And it's like they're, I don't know. I, I, they got to win the rite of passage. Now, this could be family trying to do this. 
hit you at a low point or hit you when you're vulnerable. You may have like gone through the loss of family members or gone through the law, a, a personal loss. Um, it's like, let me hit them up when they're vulnerable. Let me hit them up at a, when they're at their weak. But the problem is you're not weak. The problem is you're strong. The problem is you're intuitive. The problem is you're very confident. And you're not as vulnerable as what they think you are. I don't like people taking advantage of people. Especially after they've gone through a crisis. I don't know who this con is. But. And it doesn't have to be a lover. Like I'm trying to say. It does not have to be a lover. And the roles can be reversed. But. Why are these all of a sudden now in the upright? I cannot believe it. Look. Jeez. I swear to God, I just saw them in reverse. Someone's not authentic. Someone is not genuine and they are not uh, authentic here. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Someone is perceiving someone is weak, and I don't like that. I don't like the... Someone's trying to hit someone up for something uh, because they think they're vulnerable. They may have had losses. They may have gone through something traumatic. They may have gone through something um, but they're not weak. <laughs> they're not weak. Don't mean they're not hurt but they're not weak. Nothing weak ass about the Nine of Pentacles. Look pretty confident to me. But someone is perceiving someone is weak. Let me get them when I know that they're going through something painful. Let me talk to them or let me hit them up when I know they're going through something painful. Let me see. That's a creep. I don't care if it's a friend or a family member. It's like, let me hit them up when they're at their weakest. Let me take advantage of somebody else's suffering here. How can I capitalize on someone else's suffering? I don't like that. I don't like it. So... My message to you would be to be very aware of people coming in bearing gifts or let's talk or, you know, presenting any kind of financial opportunities. Um, Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I sense an opportunist. I just... Who? They're mourning? They're upset? They're sad? They're vulnerable. Let me go. go let me go approach them. <laughs> oh my Lord, have mercy. Well, that 
trying to attach themselves to that's angels and demons man i'm telling you right there somebody smells somebody's vulnerability or thinks you're gonna have to have a more confident attitude about yourself you're you cannot afford to look weak They, someone's thinking you're vulnerable. You're a leader. You're going to have to set up boundaries with someone that's just that simple. It's like... Someone wants to take advantage of your vulnerability. Somebody wants to take advantage of your pain or your loss or your, you know, you could be going through something traumatic or you could be going through something painful. And someone's like, hmm, how can I capitalize on this? I got to strike while the iron's hot. I know they're going to be sad. I know they're going to be grieving. I know they're going to be vulnerable. And they'll be looking for for some companionship or they're going to be looking for some sort of friendship. They don't know you very well, Gemini. <laughs> I don't know. Beware. That's all I'm saying in this read. Beware to not appear to be vulnerable. Be confident. Be strong. Do not present a front of looking vulnerable. Because there's going to be one little con here who takes full advantage of that if you do. Take care.